Welcome to Ascent of Mount Carmel. This YouTube channel is like a cliff notes for St. John of the Cross's book, Ascent of Mount Carmel. According to St. John of the Cross, spiritual enlightenment comes through self-denial. And the first step of self-denial for most people would be fasting. If you're diabetic or have some other medical condition that might be of concern, you might want to talk to a doctor before you consider taking up a fast. Most people who fast will give you anecdotal testimony that fasting leads to clearer thinking. A key difference between fasting and dieting is that with fasting you're not doing it for the glory of yourself, but you're doing it for the glory of God. Now today we're going to talk about the Desert Fathers. If you haven't heard of the Desert Fathers, well, they're awesome. There are many books available on the sayings of the Desert Fathers. You can also Google that phrase and come up with many PDF documents on the internet for free. The Desert Fathers were uh, hermits, ascetics and monks who lived mostly in the deserts of Egypt, though they were also in the Holy Land. They date back to the beginning of the 3rd century. Their origin can be traced back to St. Anthony of the Desert, also known as St. Anthony the Great. He lived over 100 years of age. By the time he died in 356, thousands of monks and nuns had flocked to the desert to join him in the monastic lifestyle. So it wasn't really so much of a life of a hermit by that time, because they all had their individual cells, caves. They did spend a great deal of time in silence and in fasting. The Desert Fathers predate the monastic tradition in the West of the Benedictines by a couple hundred years. It's also important to note that many of the ideas and thoughts in Ascent of Mount Carmel are exhibited in the sayings of the Desert Fathers. St. John of the Cross didn't introduce self-denial, didn't introduce fasting. The Desert Fathers were very well acquainted with these concepts. Now, they may not have developed the ideas to the extent of St. John in Ascent of Mount Carmel, but their understanding is definitely there and the belief is definitely there. In an earlier installment, I warned you that a of Mount Carmel is a difficult read. Well, if a of Mount Carmel is a difficult read, you'll be relieved to read the sayings of the Desert Fathers because it actually is a very easy read. You can read a lot of it in a single night, but with every saying, there's a gem. Well, let's talk about some of the sayings of the Desert Fathers. An elder said, I have seen elders in this desert who have lived there for 70 years and have not eaten anything other than plants and dates. I hope that someday somebody makes a movie about St. John the Dwarf. I think that'd be really good. St. John the Dwarf said, If a king wanted to take possession of his enemy's city, he'd begin by cutting off the water and the food, and so his enemies, dying from hunger, would submit to him. It is the same with passions of the flesh. If a man goes about fasting and hungry, the enemies of his soul grow weak. The brother was hungry in the morning, and he fought his desire so as not to eat before the third hour. When the third hour came, he forced himself to wait until the sixth hour. At that time, he broke his loaves and sat down to eat. But then he stood up again, saying to himself, Now, wait until the ninth hour. At the ninth hour, he said the prayer, and he saw the power of the devil, like smoke, rising from his manual work and his hunger vanished. Abba Daniel used to say, Abba Arsenius lived with us many a long year, and every year we used to take him only one basket of bread, and when we went to find him the next year, we would eat some of that same bread. A leader of a community asked Abba Pullman, How can I gain the fear of God? Abba Pullman replied, How indeed can we gain the fear of God when we have bellies full of cheese and jars of salted fish? Abba Joseph asked Abba Pullman, how should we fast? And Abba Pullman said, I myself think it's good to eat every day a little at a time so as not to get full. Abba Joseph said, Well, when you were young, didn't you used to fast for two days at a time? And the old man said, Believe me, I did indeed, for three days, even a week. But the great elders all tried this and found that it is good to eat every day, a little less each time. And this way they showed us the royal highway, for it is light and easy. About Abba Mark the Anchorite, it was said that he performed the following spiritual feat for 63 years in the desert. He fasted for the entire week, so that some thought he had transcended human nature. He worked night and day, and whatever he earned from his labor he gave to the poor. He never accepted anything from anyone. To those who gave to him, he would say, I have no need to accept anything, for my handiwork sustains me, as do those who come to me for God's sake. Abba Benjamin said, when we return to the desert after the harvest, 
they brought us a little something from the agricultural products of Alexandria, about a pint of olive oil and vessels sealed up with plaster. Following summer, each of the brothers brought his vessel to the church with the oil that had been left over. I brought my own vessel, which I had not opened, but which, after making a small hole in it with the needle, I had only tasted in the Indeed, my heart experienced great joy, supposing that I had achieved something great. But when all the vessels were gathered together, those of the brothers were found to be completely intact, with the plaster just as it was when the vessels were first given to them, whereas mine had a hole in it. This caused me as much embarrassment as if I had committed fornication. At one time, Abba Agathon had two disciples, each leading the ascetic way of life according to his own measure. One day he asked the first, how do you live in the cell? That disciple replied, I fast until the evening, and I eat two hard biscuits. Abba Agathon said to him, Your way of life is good, not overburdened with too much asceticism. Then he said to the other, And how do you live? And that disciple replied, I fast for two days, then I eat two hard biscuits. The old man said, You work very hard. It is a labor for someone to eat every day without greed. There are others who, wishing to fast for two days, are greedy afterwards. But you, after fasting for two days, are not greedy. Isidore the priest said, If you fast regularly, do not be inflated with pride. But if you think highly of yourself because of it, then you had better eat some meat. It is better for a man to eat meat than to be inflated with pride and to glorify himself. But we'll be going off on other tangents, and I think we'll be coming back to the Desert Fathers at some point in the future. Until the next time, may God bless you. I sought after you from the depth of my heart, my Lord Jesus, help.